What's up everyone, just wanted to take you through a quick tutorial of the entry level techniques of how I paint my eyes. I always get a lot of questions about the realism that I get in my eyes and the blends and how to do it. So through this tutorial, I'm going to show you my technique for an entry level of how you can achieve the same thing. Now, of course, things are going to vary depending on your reference and what your reference calls for. However, there are some techniques in this video that everybody can take away from and apply to their paintings. Keep in mind, I paint in a smoother, more detailed style. So this is going to revolve around that. So without further talking, let's get for into any it. good eye. The initial step is getting down a good drawing. Then we hop into our underpainting and really bringing out those values. Now that my underpainting is done and dry, I'm going to get into my first layer, my first two layers, maybe. And I just laid out some really basic colors. So just three skin tones and then mixed my own black with ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So we're going to start things off with just that and tint it as we go along. Also going to be using liquid as my medium. So what you see me doing here is just creating a lighter swatch from this main color. And this is going to be the eye area. As always, I always start with the eyes when it comes to portrait work because that's when that's where you're initially drawn to as a viewer or anybody else viewing your work. So we always want to get the eye super detailed, really realistic. If you're going for a different kind of loose style, then that doesn't really matter. But for the more tighter, smoother style, you really want to nail the eye. As I'm at this step, this is just a placement of where the colors will be. And while I'm doing this step, I'm also doing a bit of blending to kind of get a feel of how everything would look. All right, so next I'm just gonna go in with my mop brush here. And I'm just gonna soften up some of these edges. The thing with eyes is that you don't wanna have a bunch of hard edges because the eyes are not really that defined on anybody and you want that nice soft type of look which will add to it being more realistic so as I soften it up I just take paper towel tissue whatever you have and I just wipe off any excess paint and this will also keep the brush clean when going in and notice I'm just dabbing very soft here I'm not smudging it back and forth or anything, just a soft dab. Just for our starting layers, that's what we want to kind of map out how everything is going to look as we build up to our final layers. Now as my base layer, I'm just going to start filling in around the eyes just to kind of bring everything in together. When you're painting eyes, you never just want to focus on this part. You want to focus on an area in its totality. At this point, just start laying in some color around the eye and blocking in some of these areas. We don't want any hard edges around the eye, so I'm just going in again with the small mop brush and I'm just smoothing things out. Another thing too to keep in mind when you're doing an area like the eyes is you never want to do straight direct lines. Everything comes in at a curve or a circular motion, just like this. That's also the goal with the whole form of things. The eyes is not anything direct. It's made up of curves. Now for the eyebrows here, I'm just blotching in the area. I'm not going super dark like this. I'm mixing it with a bit of this tone. And some of you may ask, well, with the dark tone, why do you mix the burnt umber with the ultramarine blue? That's because it's gonna give you a more natural looking black, which is what you want for your portraits. You don't wanna use straight up ivory black. Even though I got nothing against ivory black, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with using ivory black but in this instance where you're doing portraits 
you want to go with the most natural looking thing as possible so we're just going to blotch in some of the areas we're not going to get too super detailed with the eyebrow here we just want a general idea of its placement and how it's going to look amongst the rest of the tones All right, so moving on to the next layer, I'm actually going to be oiling in with some Stan oil and also some Gamsol. Now, I'm going to be mixing this in a jar. However, you can mix it on a palette. That's also fine. What I typically like to do is have about two to three parts Stan oil and have about two parts Gamsol just to dilute it a bit, just to bring down the thickness. You can also use whatever mineral spirits you have that will also work. So what I'm gonna do is just take our mixture and I'm just gonna apply it right over the area that we're gonna be working. Typically I would just apply it over the whole painting in, of course in sections but since we're just working on the eye here I'm just going to apply it over that area and the surrounding areas if you run into a situation where you put way too much on and it starts running just take some paper towel or some thick tissue and just give it a light gentle rub At this stage, what I also start doing again is laying in some of that color around the eye and blending it out there, smoothing everything out, darkening around the eye to draw more attention to it also. Now we're at the final step. I'm gonna be doing another wash with the oil, have my colors mixed again, and now we're gonna darken some of those shadows and bring out some of those highlights, and we're gonna tighten up some of the details on the eye. This time around with my oil Gamsol or mineral spirit mixture, there's a lot more oil in it this time around. So it's a thicker consistency because we still have to follow that fat over lean rule. So there's going to be a lot more oil. We're going to wash this whole area here, not just the eye. And then we're going to go in with our paint. Following that fat over lean rule, that's basically just working from thin to thick. So your final layer should be your thickest, your most oiliest layer, or your most thickest layer with paint, depending on how you do your paintings. So with that said, we're here working up to that final layer and I'm laying in the more thick layer with that stand oil. Meanwhile, blending it out, not too much, but just enough that it gives a bit of a 3D effect to the eye and the surrounding area. Moving along, I start laying in some of the eyebrows and some of the darker areas around the eye, then start adding those details into the eyebrows, those hairs that really stand out, start laying them in. And then after that, go in with my blender brush and start smoothing out some of the areas again after adding these details here. This really brings the whole look of the eye together and gives everything a more solid look. look. And that completes my entry level technique in the painting and eye. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because I'm gonna be having more advanced techniques to this. Check out my skin mixing tutorial here. Catch you next one, peace.